Well, what else is there to do? Nothing, I guess. We can't find any more evidence, and we have no leads. I guess you could say this case is gone. <laughs> cold. Did someone say cold case? <laughs> I can help. What, do you think we need another set of eyes on this? Oh God, no, I'm half blind. Haven't had actual peripheral <laughs> vision since spring training in 1987. <laughs> you know what you need? Is an overly invasive drunk with no sense of personal space or filter. I'm sorry, I don't see how a uh, drunk can help us solve a murder case that's been open for years and the entire police force hasn't been able to solve it. Well, by hiring me, you wouldn't get just one drunk. You get a whole family of drunks. <laughs> Mother and... And daughters. D daughters? <laughs> that's right. Daughters. <laughs> We're a family business. We are the drunk daughter detectives. <laughs> <laughs> We're a family of drunks who help solve your cold case with the help of certain case cold cases. <laughs> you be working with our keen and black out drunk intuition mm -hmm. and offensively blurted out information. You'll find out the height of your suspect and that your ass is flat in the same bender. It's pretty flat. <laughs> and hey, we we ain't never been wrong. Not since we solved our first cold case. We've been in business for years. Ever since my grandmammy Jones came over on the Mayflower. The Mayflower Pilgrim themed cruise ship that went from New York to Florida in 1970, that is. Yeehaw! And she solved her first case. She went from being the town drunk to capturing the town serial killer because he picked her favorite vendor spot to stash the bodies. <laughs> oh, she's not just an inspiration to us, but that's a million. Hey, have you ever seen that show, Monk? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she fucking hated that show. <laughs> her gravestone actually says, Monk can eat my ass. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan, my pussy. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan did eat her pussy. <laughs> Twice. Got <laughs> uh, the bad guys. They always knew they was in trouble with Grandmammy Jones. Stumbled on into the crime scene wearing nothing but her seat through Lumo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She'll cover two burial sites just by falling into one. She was a true master. No one could solve a cold case like her. And she handed down her secrets of successful sleuthing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? By hiring us, right. you don't get to just watch us solve your case. Yep. You get to join in the fun yes. by including a six pack with every case we get hired on. You too can get your shit face and help solve your case. <laughs> what? I think I get it. You know what? Oh my gosh, I'm considering all the things my sober mind wouldn't have even considered. And you know what? I know who did it. Oh. How could I have missed it? Uh, How well, could I have missed I it? <laughs> oh. All because his name is a juice. It's so ridiculous. Uh, oh. The dog knew. The glove shrunk. Oh. <laughs> he wrote a book about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically, my apparently flat ass. That's right. <laughs> so the next time, the next time you hear my she's gonna call. Yes, you know what call and the we'll the we'll and we'll have open, open a couple of them. Oh my god. 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 Hey, thank you to Alyssa Scott running tech for us tonight. Woo! Thank you to Sam Holland, Jesus Theater, and thank you to you guys who came out tonight.
And uh, our next show is going to be October... Well, the second Friday, Friday of October. October, October 14th. October 14th. October 14th. Okay. And it'll be here, in this room. I hope to see most of you again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. Woo!